But it is a Saturday treat, NFL games, and one that could decide the NFC East. The Cowboys, they certainly gained a lot in South Philly last weekend. A one-game lead and the chance at the division should they beat the Colts tomorrow and the Eagles fall today in Washington. Eagles could tie it too, or Cowboys tie a Philly loss. That will also do the trick. The Eagles' best chance at a playoff spot, well, it'll likely come in the division because that poor inner conference record, yeah, that hurts. And they're on the outside looking in right now. There is a but because if the Eagles win out and Dallas loses to Indy or Washington, the division title, it is Philadelphia's. They have the better record in the NFC East. Britt McHenry has more from us for FedEx Field. Attent haven't been paying attention. As I was saying, the Cougars may not have a ton of title. What are you doing? But that's not to say they don't have a tradition of their own in Provo. Yes, okay. And yeah, they're top 10 in women's volleyball wins all time. I get it. Okay, yes, they also lead the nation in blocks. Something Jay demonstrates, something Florida State, Texas, and Nebraska experienced. And I feel their frustration. Here is why Penn State Center with Brand Weinstein. I'm Sarah Walsh. Our top stories are across the state of Texas today. One you may have heard of, the Spurs. They went into triple overtime for the second straight game. The other one you probably didn't have on your radar. Further north, the Big D, there was another overtime finish in the Lone Star State between Argyle and Navasota. Who? Let's go to Jerry. For more, we want to welcome in former NBA coach P.J. Carlesimo, Russell Westbrook, and the Thunder hold on for the win without KD. They've won eight of nine. What kind of threat do they pose in the Western Conference well, now? A very real threat provided. Overtime several times and just couldn't close that well, they out. They couldn't get a stop. Frustrating they scored, but they couldn't get stops. They've got the Mavericks tonight, so we'll see what kind of, <laughs> we'll see how the legs are for that one. Before this week, the Spurs played only two triple overtime games in their first 38 seasons, and now they've played two in the row. Whatever happens tonight, they just want it ended in regulation. And get to bed. Yes. PJ Carlesimo <laughs> with us here on SportsCenter. State Miami game and then all those revelations how, of how often the playing dead is practiced by the Arkansas State team and that play became a YouTube hit it was called the fainting go that's the name of the play which as we learned this morning is also something amazing to look up on YouTube the fainting goat didn't make our top plays of the regular season but here's some others that should give you some heart help Tony Romo and Des Bryant connected three times three touchdowns I should say in Dallas's win over the Eagles last week why could this combo pose more problems for the Colts defense today I've got a secret for you I'm gonna tell you Tony Romo's favorite formation in the game against the Eagles, he was six out of seven for 77 yards and one touchdown using this formation. First of all, look at.